in the last episode. With Pike being banned, our protagonist took the opportunity to expand his champion Puma by summoning the clown. By spamming his boxes in lane, Y Guy managed to set up an easy gank for Jax to secure the first blood. With Jin being a very valuable asset for Wydra, Papa had no choice but to sacrifice himself when the virtuoso gets caught that activated his one death power spike to save Jin. The enemy team managed to eliminate Y Guy and some of his comrades while doing a Baron. That's when Jin didn't let the Lord of Wydra's sacrifice be in vain as he stopped the enemy team from taking the Baron, sacrificing his life this time so Y Guy can get the kill. Yes, this is indeed game 5. Why Guy decided to not record the first two games because he got his second re-roll two consecutive times because why not? But he did manage to get bot lane two consecutive times after that. Sadly, it was even worse. So just imagine the current mental state of Why Guy. The production team even advised him to take a break, but in dire need to record a game for content, our protagonist proceeds to queue once more hoping the enjoyment of playing another game will untilt him. Why Guy slightly untilted himself after pulling off the level 1 cheese, but it appears that it kinda got him a little too excited forgetting that his hook is not yet available that resulted into this awkward engage. Maybe he should have listened to the production team and just take a break, one death power spike activated though. As the dark mist starts to cover a part of the bot lane, is that him? Why Guy and his support eliminated their target quickly, but the ruined king is there just in time to ruin everything once again. Classic comedy like and subscribe by the way. As Viego uses Pike's body to do his bidding, our protagonist can't do anything but watch through his grey screen thinking about his decisions in life, filled with regret on why he didn't listen to the production team's advice. That's just pure sadness right there, just saying, that would've hit even with her flash if she didn't cut her hooves after her first back. Pretty ballsy move coming from the castrated one, staring at Jinx's rocket face to face like that. Wait since when did Jinx's traps started doing that, diamond player here by the way, Papa suffers the consequences of not reading the patch notes. 
Even Papa's well aware that he's playing this game poorly, but what surprises him is that unlike the past four games, the lack of spam pings and soft hints baffles him. I have no idea what's going on in the chat for why guy has it disabled, but it appears that everyone in his team is playing to win. Who would have thought that there's still hope for the league community? Not even a single question mark ping, like this is seriously creeping me out, is why guy really playing with real players or what? The only good thing about not playing well is that you don't have to worry about giving any bounty to the enemy, so why guy takes advantage of this by pulling off a sacrificial play, utilizing fast recall reviving just in time for his allies to sneak on the Baron. There's the question mark pings that we're all waiting for, will why guys teammates finally succumb to the dark side and start acting like what we're all used to in our ranked games? I hope not. Sorry guys, why guy apologizes to his friends showing them that he's sincere by spelling friends correctly, as the negativity consumes our protagonist, he thought about quitting for good after he lose this game, but his friends are yet to give up on the Lord of Wider as they all stretch out their hand, getting our protagonist out of this beta state of depression as the five of them give their all until the end.
No way. Even why guy knows that he didn't deserve the win let alone these two honors. That game just saved our protagonist from quitting league. And not only that, his mental did a quick 180 as the Lord of Wydra goes on a 5 game winning streak.